I thought we should start our day just where we ended our day. Ashley, what time is it? You just woke up and it's noon. <laughs> I've been up since 7 a.m. I've gotten a lot done. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her hair. It's so cute. I thought maybe you'd leave your French braids in today. I actually have one. I wanted to, because I want to do my hair in French braids. Let's do it for the lake. Yeah. Let's not do it for the road trip. Let's do it for the lake, okay? Go get breakfast. I'm gonna go to Costco, okay? Makeup. Hurry and go eat breakfast then. How about just the breakfast drink? I just got all scheduled. I've been sitting here with my <sighs> candle all lit. Got my list and I am scheduled out just a little bit. I think this video here, this one just got done so I can check that one off. I actually hate the color of this shirt and my face is kind of wonky today, but we're not worried about it because I don't want to do laundry and I don't want to wear the shirts I want to take with me. So we are getting ready to go, as you can see. <laughs> Um, Chelsea's been awake for a long time. She's just been upstairs, but we're getting ready to go. I've got water bottles for your bag. These need to get filled up tomorrow morning or tonight. We'll fill these up tonight. By the way, we're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. I don't know if I've ever said that. <laughs> I keep saying we're leaving in a couple days. We are leaving to go on vacation tomorrow. Your um, sunglasses actually need to go into your bag. I'm gonna put Chelsea's, oh, where did her cinch bag go? It's upstairs. Okay, you need to load your dishes today before I go to Costco, okay? So I'll make your breakfast drink. You start, let me look at your eye. Let me look at your eye. Major green goobers. You need to go wash your face. Did your eyes itch this morning or? They did? Maybe allergies or something. Probably. I'm gonna make your breakfast drink. You get, oh, look at that. All those dishes. Because it has cereal in it. <laughs> because there's a pot sink and people couldn't rinse out. That's why I tell people don't leave your dishes in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna make her breakfast drink really quick and then we're going to Costco for only blueberries. I literally can't find blueberries anywhere. Grocery store, Target, and I, I'm gonna have to pay for the organic ones because it's gonna be really good in the car because it doesn't make a mess. I literally have one banana and a couple oranges that I can put into our car bag and bananas or, or blueberries are gonna be really good and well, gonna taste good on the ride. Like so. We're gonna finish with like an hour. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I probably will get two cases of them. Yeah. Whatever, I'm so just like gonna pay the price. That. But I've been working all morning on editing that last video and getting it going and trying to text my sister and coordinate the last of the stuff for our trip. Like I said, we're heading straight to the lake. So we're trying to coordinate meals and rides and parking passes and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of parking pass, I need to go make sure I have my parking pass for the lake I'll do that too. in the car because my sister just forgot. <laughs> called the, the Idaho State Park whatever people and they were like, it's full, you can't buy any more passes. Which is exactly why we knew we needed to buy them ahead of time. So my si poor sister, she's gonna try and transfer my dad's to her license because her car license plate because my dad is no longer going up and going to be at the lake Art, unfortunately, my, him and my mom's best friend passed away a couple days ago. And so her funeral is the same day we're going to the lake. He'll join us for the rest of the festivities that evening. But anyway, that's all I've been doing all morning is uh, laundry and packing the car. I'll show you what we've got going on in the car here real quick while Ashley loads. You actually need to tell us. Yes, I have like my list is getting a little bit longer. Um, we just have the last minute stuff that we need to put in the car tonight. Or remember super early in the morning. So one of the things I just added was Kit Kat because I had to pay Keely's friend Evelyn <laughs> to take my trash out. She was like, you're only paying me with a candy bar. I'm like, it's a garbage can girl. You're like getting a Kit Kat. I'm not paying you. So let's go and get, I'll show you what I've got going on in the car. But in here I have my purse. We're just gonna do regular purse for travel this time, but I've got my beach bag here. I'm gonna do it this way because we need to have all of my beach stuff ready to go when I get to the lake. And so I'm just gonna do it this way. I've got my car snack. I've got some wipes for the car and for the beach. This is Ashley's sunglasses and her hat. I'm gonna leave them here in my, in my beach bag um, unless she has room in her car bag. But you know, you guys know if you have been a regular here, this is like my ultimate little tote now. I've got Ashley's inhaler. I've got Meclizine, which actually I need to have Chelsea take some today and prep herself. I've got allergy pills and lotions and wipes and extra pouches of um, fruit and veggies for Ashley. I've got all kinds of stuff in here and it just works so good because it stays upright and everyone can kind of get to it in the car. So that's my car bag. And then down here I have the cooler bag that I'm gonna take and it has Muddy Buddies. 
There's two bags of Muddy Buddies. I'm gonna put some ice underneath them so that they don't melt. And then I've got our medicine, more of our medicine for like long term, the week that we're there. I've got cold medicine. I'm taking four COVID tests just in case anyone gets sick. And then I've got some more snacks down there. And then I will be able to put the blueberries in there in a Tupperware. And then I've got my beach bag all prepped and ready to go. I've got a first aid kit, cinch bag for like when we go to the aquatic center and pools and stuff, we can use those separately. But otherwise, all the other beach stuff is just in here for like general use. All of our towels, sunscreen, cover up, it's all in here. I think the goggles are in here. We also have some um, pool toys. We won't use these at the beach because they get lost in the water, but I will use those at the pool when we go. So I've just got that bag. I'm almost all done. I think I have one more towel in here to add to it. I actually need to take that out and fold it. Okay, then out here in the car, we've got the luggage rack on, but we haven't put anything in it yet. So you're here in the back of the car. I've got a case of vitamin water. This is like for the whole week. This is for Abby and some of the kids. And then in the box here, I have food, um, all of my food supplies for the lake, along with some popcorn. I'm hoping I can just toss this up into the luggage rack after it's all full, so that I don't have to worry about crushing that here in the car, because I kind of need to keep this whole space open. I'll tell you what's gonna go here in a second, but I've got, <laughs> got rolls. And and chips that are down here in this box and we've covered it with this so that I can put a suitcase here because then I need to put I need to put a hard case suitcase here unless there's room up in the luggage rack I'll put the suitcase up there but otherwise up top is gonna be all duffel bags I think we've got three or four duffel bags that I've gonna that I'm gonna do I can go upstairs and show you that um, here in a second but it's just gonna be so much easier to just chuck them up in there and then it's easier to pull them out um, there's Kaylee, but back here on top of that suitcase, I need to be able to put my electronic bag and Jason's work bag. He'll have to take and do a little bit of work at night and pay some bills that aren't quite due and, um, computer work and that kind of stuff. So I need to be able to like leave this open space right here. Also, I need to have a little bit of extra space because the kids like to kind of toss their backpacks back here and I want to leave this space open for like that. Um, it always just comes in handy when they want to lay down and sleep and they want to kind of get their stuff out of the way. It helps to have an extra space in the back. And then when we come home, all of that is going to be gone. Like all of that's going to be gone. We won't have any food to come home with. And so we'll have a lot of extra space in the back of the car when we come home. But Kaylee is going to go to the lake today, I guess, correct? So now I have to get this stuff unloaded because the towels are in here, right there. Oh my, some suits caught. You got both of them? No. Just one? Okay. See, there's the other blue towel. I need to pack that one. And then I might need a few other items of clothing. Oh, see, there's Chelsea's swimsuit. This is my final load. It's a mishmash of everyone's stuff. I did one more load last night, or this morning, I guess. I'm gonna pack a bunch of more things, and then I think we're set. They just got blueberries. We're gonna get, to get three of them? Yeah. And we're just gonna wash them all and put them in Tupperwares. I think we'll go through them. Yeah. That'll be a yummy treat in the car. Okay. We also got some more allergy medicine. Yeah. We only had five pills left. Okay, just got home. If it's just I got you a hot dog and a cheeseburger. Yay. Because I wasn't gonna go to McDonald's. And then we did. So there's a hot dog for lunch and a cheeseburger. Plain, make sure they did that right. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and, what? Oh, are you kidding? I don't have a way of communicating with you during when I'm away from home, because your iPad's not hooked to mine. I need to get us watches. No, I just need to hook her messenger to me. Okay, we're gonna soak our blueberries. Look, we got blueberries. They finally had them. But you know, then she can text on all my friends and say we have to Okay, we're not gonna discuss phones right now, okay? We're gonna soak our blueberries. This is what we're doing. We're gonna smoke our, smoke, soak our blueberries. Okay, I've got our vinegar and our water. But the only tricky part to this is I've gotta do this and then not let them get into it. <laughs> They're gonna eat these so fast if I let them have access to it. So I've gotta get it done and then hidden away so they don't touch it. Okay, these are gonna soak. Look how cute they look with our 4th of July <laughs> decor. Okay, luckily the kids won't nibble at that when they're sitting in the vinegar water. So we're gonna leave that for that. Then we're gonna leave it here for a minute. I'm gonna run up and show you how we're packing upstairs. Okay, laundry is done and I decided to change suitcases. Jason just has too much and I need to add my makeup to one of them. I'll show you upstairs here really quick. All right, here's Jason's bag and it's just so tight. He's got these cubes on this side and that on that side. And then I have my makeup bag on there. And then I have my other one in here. 
And I just think with this laundry, he's gonna add more to these bags and it won't fit. Like I just barely closed this one up. So I think just to make it easier, I'm gonna switch to this bag here. It's a little bit bigger and we won't be as crunched for space. I just, I know that coming home, we're not, we're not, I just tried to fit this suitcase into the car and it fit. It's a little bit bigger than a carry-on size. It's like the medium one. So I can get it to sit in there and then it gives me the room to put my electronic bag and Jason's work bag on top of it and then room to put the backpacks on it. And <laughs> coming home, we're not gonna have any of that food. The whole back of the car is gonna be completely empty aside for this one suitcase and our electronic bags, like this one. And so space coming home isn't going to be in fact but going there I want the kids to be comfortable place to put their backpack so if I switch it now he won't notice <laughs> I'm just gonna do it and then he'll probably add some clothes from the laundry to his bag and then but I've got to go get on a call right now for Ashley who rescheduled her therapy for today so we could be at the lake yesterday I love how everyone who uses my bathroom leaves everything on so I'll come back and do that but I gotta go do this call really quick okay therapy is done Take this laundry up. Um, went really well. We're gonna go pack the bag one final time. I think I repack bags like this often. And I like work around and figure it out. Also, I just wanna show you how difficult it is to get to my room during the day without undoing this whole little system. <laughs> I don't wanna have to reset it up. So I squished through there. Okay, so I need to work my laundry that I just did into my bag and make that work. I just wanna give myself options. <laughs> I just know myself and I want options for casual or going out for dinner, or movies or whatever. So I'm going to add swim to this bag. Also, I have packed these little, you guys use these? They're like the head turbans, hair turbans for after you take a shower and wrap your hair in them. The texture of them it drives me crazy, but they work really good. I've gotten these ones at Marshall's, but then Target had them in their dollar spot. So I got these two um, and they're going to be great for us girls while we're there. And I apologize for the noisy AC. Not much I can do about it. Gotta keep the house cool, cool. We use a lot of towels as girls. If we use two towels, one for our hair and one for our body. And my dad doesn't have that many towels. And so I'm taking these and I'm really gonna work hard at my girls using these for their hair so that we only go through six towels and then every couple days we'll go ahead and wash those six so we don't like run out. This isn't a hotel. <laughs> Grandpa only has a certain number of towels. So, and we're all using one bathroom because my brother and sister need to use the basement bathroom. My brother takes more time to get ready than all five of us girls. I'm not even joking you. So we all just say, nope, he can have his own bathroom. We don't ever want to like be waiting an hour for him when we can all just share a bathroom. So got those packed. I'm going to pack my swim stuff that I used yesterday. And I also have Chelsea and Ashley's swimsuits that I washed from the lake yesterday. Put those in their stuff. But I'm going to pack the rest of my swim stuff. This is just like, I never thought I would own a bikini. That is an actual bikini, but it works great for extra support underneath some suits. And if you know, you know. And my uh, swim cover, or my little swim dress, this is really nice for the lake because I'm kind of covered up when I walk around, but I'm still cool and calm and collected at the lake. So I'm gonna pack these guys in my, I think I have a short um, bag and no I don't. I just have a shirts and shorts bag. So I'll put those in there and then I have an underwear bag for my sports bra and my underwear. So finish that up. The interesting thing is now that I've started to like work out, <laughs> go for a walk, I have doubled like the amount of clothes that I take. I have like workout shorts. I have like three pairs of workout shorts. I have more tank tops than I've ever taken before. I think I have like three or four. Um, and then I have multiple, you know, shirt, dressy, tank top, not dressy. I don't get like super fancy, but it does mean that I have a more, more clothes that I'm actually taking, but that's okay. Cause they all stay very organized in these packing cubes. All right, my bag is done and I can guarantee you guys, this would have been so much messier, probably not even possible to do had I not had cubes. I mean, look at this. This is Chelsea's, this is Ashley's down there and then mine is all the rest of them. And then I just zip that up and I can toss that in the top of our car. All right, there is a stack of stuff. I'm not sure if Jason wants me to pack that, but I have switched his bag to this bigger one. So he's got his two little 
cinch bags over here and then I've got my makeup bag and my bathroom bag on this side I think his will fit right here his little ditty bag will fit right here and that'll be perfect but we're not tight it's not gonna be I like these little like skeleton pieces that go into these compression bag it makes it really nice when you kind of flip it over and have a hard surface for it to be able to kind of push down on so I think we're done but you said something came in the mail spike ball should we go show him Jeez, came in that large box. All right, we got spike ball. Did the other one come? Is there anything else in it? Uh, there's two. So we got spike ball, one just for us to play. I think the teenagers are gonna like this. They can take it and play it at the park or in the even in the road. But we also got the buoys to make it so that you can play it in the water. The buoys are probably coming in the mail. So let me try and keep, let me see if we can keep the box intact in case we need to store it in a garage. See what it looks like. Oh, it comes in a bag. That's nice. Pull it out. All right, so I'm gonna kind of video how we put this all together back into the bag so we remember how to store it. We've got all the little round shell pieces. We've got three balls. I think I'm gonna sharpie your name and put that on there. And then here's the net, and they actually just tied it up around the little feet. So I'm gonna remember how to store this. So we just kind of put the feet inside the net, and then we're gonna put that all together. Okay, we're gonna connect them all together. They make this really it easy. Fit. It will. No, you just gotta get the right ones in the right spot. No, it's gonna fit on the table. Oh, it on the counter. Yeah, probably need to put it down here. She's getting these all fixed. Last one. Last one, and then you put the net on, and I think you just hook it to these little hooks right here. They make this really easy. Okay, mm -hmm. the net is all set up. Now we have to learn how to do it. Learn the rules, right? All right, so you have to keep tightening it and make sure it has a good bounce to it. And the rule is if you drop it from like your shoulder height, it should bounce up to above her knees. So it's doing pretty good. We've gotten it pretty tight. Now we have to learn the rules. There's a YouTube video. Let's go watch it. <laughs> Okay, as we were reading the instructions to learn how to play, the second one came and was delivered to the mailbox. So we just went and picked that one up. Okay, we won't be able to fully set it up um, and, and show you on the water until we get to water, but this is the float bag, so, and these are the float legs. They attach to the legs right there, and then all of these straps will attach to this carabiner right here from the center point and then you fill this bag with like soft rock like smooth rock or water or a potato it said yeah, and then ask your high school teacher <laughs> it said about fresh water yeah it said not to add it with um salt water and i don't know why because, but like, maybe it interrupt maybe it i don't know i don't know but let's see if we can practice cinching the bag and then hooking all of that to the carabiner okay so if a nine-year-old can get this all set up she's doing pretty good at this i think anyone can do this we have one more clip on right so you just clip them in and then you turn it over in the water and the weight bag should rest on the water like when it's weighed down and then you usually play like where you're playing up to your knees in water but then these little buoys will help it float so that's kind of cool okay so see how this weight bag right here if it was cinched and filled with something it would. here lift it up again lift it up again it would float down and be the anchor and then this would float on the water so it wouldn't like go up no, yeah, so that it won't like move. It'll just kind of float in place. So you don't lose it. Right, so now we gotta learn how to play it on ground and then we'll be able to play it in the water. It's not gonna be that easy. No, it'll be a learning curve, but I think everyone will be able to play, except maybe Nora. She will. She will. She'll just have to play with. Yeah, she play with other, yeah, other older kids. Me. Yeah. Okay, Max is back over here. Yeah, Max, here. come here. Okay. Kaylee dressed you up. Max. <laughs> is this what it would be like if she had a dog? You are so nice to let her do that to you. Are you are you pouting? No, he's Yeah, he's licking it. Are you guys going to lake? Okay. You have to clean all your stuff when you get home. He loves Kaylee. I mean, he loves Matthew more, but he will, leave, he will be whimpering and barking like. Yeah, if Matthew leaves, he whimpers. If Kaylee leaves, oh. Are you tired? Oh my goodness. Kaylee in bed. Get a picture of both you and him wearing it and send it to Jacob. Say, well, while you're not here. Okay, so Abby has been busy just dinking around and she has done Abby, Ashley's makeup and dressed her like a minion. So making her debut. Okay, Ash, come on down. Or should I say, <laughs> oh my gosh. She wants to the park like this. <laughs> 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 you like, should. So, so like, 
Oh my gosh. Or we should go to the store and <laughs> see people's reaction to Can me. I take a photo first? You need to get a banana. Go get a banana. Okay, so Does you, we don't have any bananas. Please go get one. I'm not gonna go, but what you wanna go. a free one with sashi. Oh gosh, you're ridiculous. Or we could go to the store and it'll be good. I don't I know. I wanna see people's reactions to, <laughs> I wanna see it. Okay, you need to have some dinner first and then maybe. We can go get some cheese afterwards and then we can Yeah, and okay, but you need to go grab something to eat. What did you use Abby as yellow? What What is the yellow powder? Is it eyeshadow? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to shower tonight. Okay? The black is also eyeshadow. That's crazy. Well, I think you, we know what you're gonna be for Halloween. <laughs> She's like regretting it. I think decision. it's cute. Okay, get something to eat and then I will think about it. Okay, Dad's home and we're gonna get his reaction to Ashley. Ash, you ready? Abby had fun today. <laughs> Wait, are you a minion? <laughs> yeah. It looked better when your hair was pulled back. Super cute. Pull your hair back. Oh, yeah, like that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, cute, huh? That's cute. That's a lot of fun. Abby, Abby did all that? Yeah, she begged me to do it. Fun. Oh, yep. she, yellow? she made her yellow. Nice, adorable. You know, cute, like huh? Cute little minion. No, I just put spike ball in need, the car. I need to eat. I, I need to clean up around here. Maybe go for a run. Yeah. No, you are not going for a run until you work on that front That's why I said pile. I clean up around here. Let's document what he's going to clean up, ladies and gentlemen. He needs to clean up his piles from the other day. He's got one right here. And a couple up in the front, and he's, we're going to get another HOA notice if this is left here for a week. So we had to do it. We went and got bananas for our minion. And the lady going into the store, she's like, dude, that's pretty cute. <laughs> right? Yes. Are you carrying the bananas out on no. your bike ride? No. Oh, you're putting them in the bag. <laughs> you're going to take them on your bike ride. You they're going to they're gonna go on a bike ride really quick before bed. Thank you for putting those bananas for our car bag. Yeah. All right. Bye, Minion. Bye. I'm kind of done for the day. I'm going to sit and eat my dinner. Do you want to see what I'm having really quick? I think some meatballs, plain, no sauce, and some broccoli, and some cottage cheese. I have to edit this video, so I'm going to say goodnight to you from here. We are going to hit the road early, early tomorrow morning. Of course, we will take you guys along with us. We always like to do that. And then we will start our vacation. It's going to be great. So I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> Take care. Have a good night.